The chess drama is back. Magnus Carlsen, the greatest chess player on the planet, has shocked the world this month after losing to 19-year-old Hans Niemann, withdrawing from a tournament because of it, resigning in one move the next time the pair played each other, and being genuinely cryptic about his implication of why all of this has happened, that Hans has been cheating. It's been three weeks of absolutely jam-packed drama, but finally Magnus has spoken out. But what he said might be more disturbing than the silence that came before. I tell you what, I have been subscribing to a lot of chess channels out there because of all this drama, ones that I didn't even know existed beforehand. Maybe you're watching this and you're new to esports. Well, consider subscribing to the channel. We have lots of great videos just like this one. Also, leave us a like on your way out the door if you enjoyed the video. Cheers. Three and a half weeks ago, Magnus Carlsen faced off against Hans Niemann in the third round of the esteemed Singfield Cup. Now, on paper, Magnus was the clear favourite. He's a five-time world champion who up until that game have been on a 53 game undefeated streak. Now for some people he might genuinely be the greatest chess player to ever play this one and a half thousand year old game. Neiman on the other hand was a talented 19 year old American who although having recently risen rapidly in the world rankings was not expected to beat Magnus. But it seems nobody told him that because that's exactly what he did. H4 and G4 setup because it doesn't yeah and there there we have it. Handshake. There we have it. Wow. What a result. What wow. a result, guys. Truly. Wow. I can just imagine the chat going uh, nuts at this point. Like, uh, what, are we, what have we witnessed? It was pretty astounding stuff, but it was what happened next that kickstarted this month-long drama. The day after the loss, Magnus tweeted out saying that he had withdrawn from the tournament. He added a famous clip of football manager Jose Mourinho not wanting to speak his mind in an interview. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble in big trouble and I don't want to be in big trouble. The message between the lines that everyone got was that Magnus was accusing Hans of cheating and everything pretty much exploded from that moment. Here was the world champion essentially calling out a fellow professional for the most heinous crime you can commit in any competitive scene but especially chess cheating. Longtime rival of Magnus and popular streamer Hikaru Nakamura broke down what might have been going through Magnus's mind at the time. I'm gonna try to speculate here on Magnus's intentions I think that Magus believes Magus believes that Hans probably is cheating. Again, unproven. Who, who knows what the reality is? He probably does believe that in his heart of hearts that Hans cheated in that game, or that he is cheating, or whatever. Okay. So if Magnus believes that, what is Magnus going to do in the situation? If he really believes that, okay, if you go out and you say something, but you have no proof, then you're, then like, then, I mean, the burden of proof is extremely high, of course, because like, if it's not done at the time when you're at the game, of course, you can't prove anything. Um, and so you really have no way of proving that if you really believe that. So, so I think Magnus's way of basically saying that is like, he's not going to actually say it. But he's putting out this clip saying, if I talk, I'm in trouble, and he's withdrawing to make the point without publicly making the point. Now, there were many theories being thrown around to support this. Some people were saying that Hans wasn't able to explain his win properly in the post-match interview. Others have said that over the last few years, Hans has had a suspiciously meteoric rise to become one of the top 50 players in the world. Neiman fired back at Hikaru on Twitter for making what he called frivolous implications. On the tournament stream, he also addressed something that had been brought up a lot in support of Magnus's implications, the fact that Hans had cheated on two known occasions before. He was keen to emphasize that these games happened online when he was 12 and 16 years old, and that this tournament was an entirely different thing. I wanted to gain some rating, you know, I just wanted to get high rated so I could play stronger players, so I cheated in random games on chess.com. Now, I was confronted, I confessed, and this is the single biggest mistake of my life, and I'm completely ashamed, and I'm telling the world because I do not want any misrepresentation, and I do not want rumors. I have never cheated in an over-the-board game. Other, when I was 12 years old, I have never, ever, ever, and I would never do that. That is the worst thing I could ever do, cheat in a tournament with prize money. And in the wake of all of this, Chess.com also uninvited Hans from their world championship. They said they'd share detailed evidence with Hans that contradicts his statements on the amount and seriousness of his cheating on Chess.com. Now, Chess.com and the Singfield Cup are two separate entities, but you couldn't help notice the timing of all of this. It felt like Hans's career was being put 
through the shredder, while the general public was missing one pretty key part of the story actual proof. In the absence of that, the chess community began to furiously speculate about how Hans could have cheated if all of this was true, and some of the theories got pretty ridiculous. That's probably a good one, right? An anal bead probably would beat the thing. I, I'm serious. If the engine, I, it would probably... <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Like, think about it. I, I don't know. So this crazy idea is that Hans was receiving signals via anal beads from an outside source, presumably with a chess computer, to act as a guide for what move to make next. And I'm not going to go into any more details on that. Now, incredibly, this posting actually gained some traction to the point where it became the central focus for some in the media. A campsite even offered Hans $1 million to play a game of chess naked to prove the haters wrong once and for all. And in some ways, I don't blame people for focusing on the whole anal beads angle because in many ways, the story just wasn't advancing. But then, on September 19th, Magnus and Hans faced off once again for the first time since that fateful game. This time, it was an online game in the Julius Baer Generation Cup. Everyone held their breath. Who was gonna win? Would Magnus get his revenge? Would this be a chance for everyone to leave all this drama behind and just get back to playing some chess? Oh no. No, 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 no. It was a very, very good game. It was probably an inspired game, you could call it. But is it an obvious proof of cheating? Definitely not. I don't think he cheated in the Singfield Cup. But everything else oh, is still sorry, in Alejandro. the air. Sorry, Alejandro. I just have to interrupt you uh, because the game started um, and Magnus has logged off. What has happened? Magnus has resigned. Magnus has resigned the game wow. against Hans Niemann. Yes. Uh, at least that's what so it says in our transmission. So he made one move and resigned. Yes. It looks that way. Magnus made one move knight to f6 and then disconnected. Hans followed shortly after. This wasn't an accident. It was a statement from Magnus that he was not going to play against this opponent. What a fantastic first move. Who are you rooting for, Hans or Carlsen, guys? What? 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 What happened? The memes were flooding in by this point as expected. The idea that the world champion of any sport would show up just to instantly resign was almost too bizarre to parody, but the internet did it anyway. While there was a lot of confused laughter, there was also a growing sense that this just wasn't okay. For over three weeks, Magnus had kept the chess community in the dark about what he actually thought, and for three weeks, 19-year-old Hans's career was being irrevocably changed. To put it simply, some people felt that Magnus was taking the piss. It was time for him to make a statement instead of mysterious withdrawals and resignations. It was time to shit it all, get off the pot. I think it's fair to be suspicious of somebody who literally self-admittedly cheated online and is now crushing people over the board. Would you agree? I mean, it's fair to be suspicious. What's not fair, and I think this is where, you know, the arguments might start, well, maybe not. I don't think it's fair the way this is being handled by Magnus. And that time finally came this week. On Monday, 22 days after he quit the Singfield Cup, Magnus finally released a statement on Twitter. Magnus acknowledged that his actions had frustrated many in the chess community, but stressed that he himself was frustrated too, and that he just wanted to play chess. Then he outlined how cheating poses an existential threat to chess itself, that chess organizers and lovers of the game should look at increasing security and chess detection for over the board chess. Then Magnus honed in on Han specifically, saying that he strongly considered withdrawing from the Singfield Cup when he heard Hans had been a last minute invite. This showed that Magnus already had his suspicions about Hans before their game. It wasn't like he was okay and then decided to withdraw based off this game alone. He already had this on his mind going into it. After that, Magnus got a bit more specific. He stated that he believed Hans had cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. He cited his progress in chess as unusual, and that during their game he had the impression that Hans didn't seem to be concentrating a 
at critical moments like he should. How well Hans played as Black was also mentioned as a factor. But the final paragraph is perhaps the most key here. Magnus said that there is more he would like to say, but that he is limited in what he can say without explicit permission from Hans to speak openly. He said that he has only been able to speak so far with his actions, and that those actions show he is not willing to play chess with Hans. He finished by saying he hopes the truth will come out, whatever it may be. So. There we go. Honestly, there's a lot to unpack there, but paradoxically, not a lot has actually been said. We thought that even when Magnus decided to talk about this, he might provide some evidence. He has not. It's quite strange that Magnus has said he can't provide anything more at this time without permission from Hans. What exactly does that mean? Would this permission offer Magnus legal protection? Some of these answers just create more questions. Also, a large chunk of the statement is dedicated to combating cheating in chess generally. This is, of course, something I'm sure everyone can get behind and from what I've heard it is an issue for the game but honestly it kind of feels like Magnus is sort of hiding behind this very honorable cause when people just want to know what his proof is and that's not just because people love all of this drama although I'm sure on some level that is true increasingly it's because people just feel bad for Hans what does Magnus mean when he says that Hans has cheated more and more recently than he's admitted to is he sitting on proof of that sure Magnus could very well be right Hans could be cheating and if so that should be be dealt with through the proper channels. But if he's not been cheating, then this whole thing just f sucks. If he's not been cheating, we have a 19 year old guy who might be one of the most promising American talents of his generation and his career is being torn up as we speak. And again, this isn't even about whether he did or didn't do it. If you're Magnus Carlsen, if you're the biggest chess player on the planet, someone who everyone looks up to, then your words have real consequences. Magnus knows this. Magnus knows his name carries weight. Even if this doesn't get resolved one way or the other, Magnus saying that he'll never play against Hans again in the future is tantamount to a chess death sentence for him. Why would tournament organizers bother to invite Hans to their tournaments knowing that if he went up against Magnus, it would probably just end in a farcical one move resignation. They'd rather just not invite him at all. So despite this statement, we're still just as in the dark as we were before. There is still no guarantee that Magnus has categorical proof to support his claims. And even if he does, it sounds like there are barriers stopping him from sharing it. Now, the day before Magnus's statement, one video gained a lot of traction in the chess community. Chess coach Yosha Iglesias shared a 23 minute video outlining what she believed to be the most incriminating evidence against Hans Niemann using the Let's Check database. I recommend checking that video out, not because I know it's right one way or the other, but because it's been a ray of solid statistical sunshine in this storm of drama, mudslinging and anal bead accusations. In another twist from just yesterday, Vice published an article in which they shared that Hans Niemann's coach, Maxim Lugi admitted to cheating in tournaments in 2017 and 2020, according to emails provided to them by chess.com of their correspondence with Delugi. Naturally, this is not the kind of news that Hans Niemann would welcome given the circumstances. We all need to be aware of this. And of course, if he breaks the rules again or tries to join a cash event, he will be gone. Danny Wrench, Chief Chess Officer, chess.com LLC. All right, so those are the emails. This is, this is wild. And we're only halfway through the article, no less. This drama has been going on for four weeks and there still doesn't seem to be any end in sight. It feels like only Magnus can provide that ending, but trying to guess his next move is starting to feel just as hard in real life as it is on the chessboard. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.